Yeah, 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 man. You already know what the fuck it is, man. DJ Jerry, a.k.a. the voice of the streets. It's that motherfucking Mixtape Trappers Radio, man. I got a special guest in the building, man. You know what I'm saying? He going crazy right now, man. He going hard. Big Jew, what's happening? What's that word, Jerry? Man, what's happening, bro? You know what I'm saying? You, we got you in this motherfucker, bro. You know what I'm saying? You been going yeah. crazy, dog. I, I, can't, I can't cap, bro. You been going crazy. Man, I've been trying to. <laughs> I've been, I've been, you know what I'm saying, putting in as much work as I possibly can. That's it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, where, where everybody, you know what I'm saying, they first time on Mixtape Trappers Radio, always start from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Like, like where you from and shit? Like, what, what side of the city you from? I'm from the west side. West side? West end. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I really was born in the hundreds, for real, for real. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? I'm a wild boy, but, you know what I'm saying, I moved to 75th, 76th, so it's just the whole west side. I'm a... West Side nigga never lived lower than 75th Street. Yeah. Never. You know what I'm saying? I didn't move to Waukee Shaw and Watertown and West Dallas, but Milwaukee, I'm on the West End. Mm-hmm. I want to live downtown, but it's just so weird having the East Side address. Like, yeah. fuck the love. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to stay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to stay where you live at. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because it just, it's different when you go around the corner to the gas station. Everybody already know who you is. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I go in there and get blunts for free if I ain't got no money on me. You know what I mean? Yeah, so it's different. I stay where I'm at. You know what I mean? Bullshit. Hey, but what was it like over there? You know what I'm saying? Like, but well, what, I know you say you really friend of Wild Hunters, but like, when did you really move to uh, the West Side? Like, how old? I was like seven, eight. When I was born, we lived on 100 and we stayed on Ferry Chapel, we stayed on 106, but we stayed on 107 in two mm-hmm. houses. So we moved out there. I was like eight. We moved to 99 for a year or two, then we moved to 75th. But it was always a. Uh, Shit, niggas getting money. Yeah. <laughs> that's, Milwaukee ain't nowhere, it ain't different no matter what hood you in, what side of town, it's just some niggas getting money. They buy nice cars, put some rims on it, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's all I ever seen, no matter if I was on the, you know what I'm saying? Because when I lived in uh, Watertown, nigga, we stayed on the east side, for real, for real, yeah. with my grandma. Just niggas getting money, it ain't nothing but different. Mm-hmm. Bullshit. Hey, yeah, because uh, you, you got a couple rappers uh, off the west side. Who you got? Marmar, uh, Leo, Low. You know what I'm saying? Who who else who else off the West Side, bro? I don't know no rappers from the West Side. <laughs> Juice Man D, shit, I know Juice Man D. I don't know Juice no, I don't know no niggas, bro. I ain't, I ain't know. I be in the, I be chilling for. I don't know no niggas. I, I know a couple niggas I went to school with, but I ain't know meaty greedy ass nigga. We can do business, you know what I'm saying? But I don't, I don't know no niggas. You know what I'm right. saying? No disrespect or no, ain't no beef. I don't know them niggas though. Oh Leo, I ain't gonna lie. I, I had inbox Leo because I did a song. I said, I, I need the other dub. Nigga called me Leo. <laughs> <laughs> so I sent him that shit. He said, fool, you crazy as a bitch. <laughs> that shit, yeah. I don't know him, though. Yeah. Yeah, Leo, man, I think I damn near got to hook it up for you, bro. Like, Leo, he a solid nigga. He'll do that shit. Yeah, no, that nigga funny as a bitch. Yeah. I, told him, I told him when I shoot the video, I want him in the video. Yeah. That's, I'm like, I did it on the Meg beat, so I'm trying to reach out to Meg the style and to get her to twerk in the video. You know what I'm saying? Man, so listen, if I get man. that done, I'm getting Leo in that bitch, put the meal on, you know what I'm saying? Do what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. But that man, she's so used to them damn label checks, bro. It ain't, I guarantee it ain't no number me or you could tell her to make her come do shit. Oh, look, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna play it like this. I'm gonna I'm go out of town, go to a little meet and greet, I'm gonna slide up on her, I'm gonna pull 10, 15. Like, look, bad. all I want you to do is twerk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Look, this right here, just come on. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? I just need you to twerk for me. Do that. Yeah. It's gonna work. I, you know what I'm saying? That shit gonna be perfect marketing. You got to see, hey, you speaking the shit into existence. Oh, my life. You know what, what I'm saying? It, I feel like shit, if money can cause and can, can get the situation fixed, we can go make some money. Mm-hmm. Because we, you know what I'm saying? We can get that shit done. So, Meg, I'm coming for you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming for you. Bullshit. Yeah, but like, like uh, when you started rapping, though, you know what I'm saying? How old was you when you started uh, rapping it then? When did you take the rap shit serious? I ain't gonna lie. I've been rapping like shit, my whole life for real. Like yeah. I knew I could rap, but I ain't give a fuck about the shit because I ain't see no career in this shit. But once I started learning how to market in real life, I'm like, shit, I can market myself. When I be doing little shit, niggas be like, man, you should manage me. I be like, bro, I can help you. But shit, I'm finna, you know what I'm saying? I'm finna then go sit down. I'm gonna manage you from behind the wall, my nigga. So, but I just started taking this shit serious last year. Yeah. Last year, but I just started dropping this year, like March. I just started really dropping. I dropped my first video two months ago, a month ago. What? You know what I'm saying? I wasn't really taking this shit serious, but when I did, people was like, keep going. Mm-hmm. So I was like, fuck this shit. I'm going to go ahead and get this shit my all. I, I ain't doing shit else. You know what I'm saying? Right. 
Yeah, but what's the uh, video we posted? Because that one went crazy, bro. Uh, shit, I don't know. It was a couple. It was, it was one a slingshot. You was in a slingshot. Oh, the yeah. one, the one with Mike. Uh, yeah, sticks. Yeah, 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 sticks. Yeah, sticks. Yeah, that one. That was the first video I really put out. I put out some other shit, but that really wasn't. It wasn't really ready to come out. I was just doing that because I wanted to put some shit out. But sticks, my first official video, and I'm just featured on that bitch. That's that's what my nigga Magnif, my nigga Mike off 19th. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my nigga. That motherfucker go crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Everybody be laughing at that song because Mike came on that bitch spying and talking. About, they're like, what's wrong with bro? Like, man, he living like that, though. I ain't gonna lie, dog. Both of y'all niggas were crazy because when I had to replay that shit, my man, he's like, dog, listen to this shit. He's like, dog, them niggas going crazy, dog. Listen to them niggas, dog. I was like, yeah, them niggas do that. They ain't going fed on that motherfucker, dog. Oh, they talking that shit. You know what I'm saying? But, like, like, how would you describe your style, though? You know what I'm saying? Like, Big Juice style. I ain't going to lie, it's, it's really, it's all over the place. Because mm-hmm. I do any type of beat, all type of beats, I do all type of music. I just be having fun. I really be in that playing. I just know how to rap and put words together, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a country pimp type shit, you know what yeah. I'm saying? How I be really macking on the beat, that's how I be feeling. So, I do anything. I, I really ain't got no, I, I really can't say it's a big juice style yet. Yeah. I'm just really finding that, you know what I'm saying? I'm still finding that sound. I'm just dropping shit right now. Just saying whatever. I'm going to the booth saying the craziest shit come to my head. <laughs> it be real. It just be like putting it together. Because you can say anything, but it's how you say it. You how know you what I'm saying? So how I make sure it. I critique the words in a way that make you think like, this nigga ain't got his mind together yet. Mm-hmm. Like, this nigga <laughs> tripping or something. It make you laugh or it just yeah. make you be like, stay from around. Do something. It's going to have you make it. If it give you an emotion, I did my job. You know what I'm saying? So I really, you know what I'm saying? I just be dropping shit. I don't know. I just be trying to. Touch everybody, yeah. you know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Yeah, but like, out of your lyrics, you know what I'm saying, what line stuck out the hardest? Uh, that motherfucker be like, bro, you, your ass went crazy when you said that. You know what I'm saying? Like, what line everybody come to you be like, man, come on, bro. Like, you was crazy, though. My hat pinged off, and I just popped two pink tins, the rumor G at night, but I'm still finna sleep in. <laughs> that shit, I don't know. That shit be pink tins. I dropped that shit, and ain't got a visual to it yet, but a lot of people be knowing that shit or be saying that. Like, it be like, or, uh, on that song, I said, when I get home, my bitch feed me asparagus and lambs. So that, I don't know, that shit, it's certain <laughs> shit just be like, they be remembering or saying that shit or, on that, that song with Mike. Uh, all I need is 20 minutes to get the bag on. Just that alone, they like that. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. But that, it be that little shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that shit went hard, man. Like, <clears throat> I don't know, like, it's some, some shit, like, you could tell who experienced and who ain't experienced, like, automatically, especially with me, because I've been listening to so, I listen to so many motherfuckers, like, but, uh, when I heard you, I was like, all right, if bro keep going, like, he could do some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just got to keep dropping, keep dropping. Man. And that's what you've been doing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to lie. I dropped the old music. For real? Like, I got plenty of new music that you can tell, like, oh, the, the studio better. Or the way you were saying the shit better. It flow better on the beat. But I wait because it's like, if I give you this and it's hard, wait till I give you the shit that I know I did better on it. Then I'm still making new music when I drop that shit. Because now that's old. I didn't have that shit out for two months. So I'm in the stew making shit today that you're not going to hear the, a year from now. And that yeah. shit sounds so crazy that it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I say they really know Big Juice flow because I'm switching it up. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving them so much versatility. That, you know what I'm saying? They going to keep up and they not going to get bored. You know what I mean? That's the main thing. I'm keeping them entertained. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving them my life, but in a different type of way every time I do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Man. But, you know, like, I ain't going to lie. Like, uh... I run across it. You probably run across motherfuckers like everybody trying to rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you think it matter if if they really talk, really doing what they talking about? Because niggas will be telling the truth in a song, and they it'll be a weak ass song. You know what I'm saying? So, but a nigga do a song like you said, it'll be entertaining, but it ain't necessarily the truth. So, like when it comes to the music shit, do you think it matter if it's the truth, or you do you think you should just worry about making a good song? Uh, man. All right. So look. I'm not going to lie, fool. It's, a, it's the way you do it. You might exaggerate some shit, but it might not be far-fetched. Let's say you you say you spent some money in the club or you spent some money at the mall that you ain't spent, but you really got that money. You know what I'm saying? It's another thing when niggas really know, like, you can't make that shit happen. Like, bro said some <laughs> shit. Right. He can't do that. Like, yeah. you can't even go rent the car you rapping about. Yeah. You, fuck buying it. If you can't even go rent it, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It's certain, it's certain ways to go about it because a lot of niggas don't know how to like I say, critique the words. So you can exaggerate to a certain extent. If you can do that shit, you can't say some shit that you're not 
physically capable or you can't make tangible happen. You can't <laughs> you can't grasp it. It's nothing, it's not really in your reach. Sometimes it be cool for some niggas, but it just a lot of niggas not comfortable with doing that. Me personally, I might exaggerate, but I can do everything that I rap about. Right. I'm living that. <laughs> no, Straight like that. So so basically what you saying, like a nigga that you know uh get left on scene, uh don't get no pussy. Uh, all that shit you, you think he shouldn't be talking about no hoes right like you know, fucking bitches or nothing right no he can talk about some hoes cause he he fucking some he fucking some for sure this is Milwaukee niggas fucking some all these babies around here by these ugly ass bitches Duh. somebody fucking so everybody fucking you know what I'm saying I ain't gonna lie it's a somebody fucking you know what I'm saying so he getting some pussy it just might not be to the extent he say he getting it you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah he can. So I ain't gonna talk shit to him when he come come up here next time, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna talk shit to him. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. But I see, I see you got a, uh, the video out with Fifty Four, baby. You know what I'm saying? How that shit come about? Oh, I, I just hit him on Instagram. That nigga hit me back. Oh what? That was it. That, my mama, he came to the stew. He was getting off. I ain't gonna. Lie. I had I had listened to him before. Yeah. But I wasn't really listening to it. I'm just vibing and shit. You know how shit go. You music on. You doing whatever you doing. You chilling. Mm-hmm. That shit, you know, when I'm in the crib, but when he came to the stool, I'm like, damn, this nigga, this nigga cold, like, this nigga barking. I'm like, this shit crazy. I ain't really pay attention to, you know what I'm saying, until yeah. we in the stool together. But he going up, though, you know what I'm saying? Shit. Like, that was, that shit, like, part of marketing, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, food going up. Let me hop on, you know what I'm saying? See what brother doing. Mm-hmm. Nigga hit me back. Like, I got some shit with some niggas out of town, but. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? You got to drop with niggas in your own city for you go that way. So I put that shit on Tuck. That shit going to drop in a month or two. Right. You know what I'm saying? So be ready for that shit. I got some shit with some Detroit niggas, some L.A. niggas. You know what I'm saying? Man, you got to tell us, bro. You on Mixtape Travis Radio, man. Fuck that, bro. We got we need to I got I got bro. some shit with Nutty coming. Let's go. You know Let's go, saying? Jew. Some shit with Rudy coming. Some shit with uh, who that nigga from Memphis? Action Pack AP. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fucking going to do something with, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to... I can't network with out of town niggas if I ain't network with in town niggas. It just right. don't feel right. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm from here, you gotta fuck with your city first before you go fuck with some out of town niggas. You know what I mean? So yeah, but how you feel about that shit? Do you think uh, motherfuckers be too proud like to reach out to like say like you? You say you you, you uh, starting to, you just really took the rap shit serious. You know what I'm saying? Do you think motherfuckers be acting too like they too good to reach out or like be like oh man dude fuck with dude so I ain't about to reach out. To him, do you think it's too much politics with the rap shit in Milwaukee right now? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, that shit too personal. Like, I know I can rap all day and shit like that. Like, oh, I'm cold or I'm nice, but I ain't him. I ain't that guy. I ain't nobody special. I just started rapping yesterday. You know what I'm saying? I got 500 followers on Instagram. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't finna be, oh, since I can rap, I think I'm finna blow. I gotta pay for promotion. I gotta pay for features. I gotta do shit in the right way to create a career. I ain't just rapping it. Be rapping in the basement and playing that shit riding around, you know what I'm saying? Nigga right. trying to build a career and make some money off this shit so we can get the fuck from around this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta reach out and do certain shit in a certain way. You can't just do shit with niggas in your hood that don't really wanna drop videos and don't really wanna do this shit. Niggas just wanna ride around and play it all day. That shit ain't gonna get you no money, you know what I'm saying? But you spending money on beats and studio time, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta make this shit count. Well shit. Right. Right. Yeah, but like what if like you wanted to do a song where we ain't gotta say no names or nothing, but uh what if you wanted to do a song with somebody that your niggas necessarily don't fuck with, but you see it's a good business opportunity, like would you do it or would they you don't, they don't come to the video then? You said they don't it. come to the video. That's it, because they might do something to them. I know them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know yeah, that like yeah. that's it. As long as it ain't like if it's a if it's a problem that they got and it's straight, like, you know what I'm saying? I see it like shit, that's your but if it's some police shit, I ain't doing it. Ain't oh, yeah. like, it just it depends on a certain extent. Like, you can't pay me to do a song with six nine. If he offered me a hundred million dollars, I'm gonna look at it like that's a lot of money. I want it, but just morally, I ain't gonna do it. So it just depends on the situation. But nine times out of ten, I ain't finna I ain't gonna let nothing get in the way of the business if it ain't too personal with me. Right. Like shit. Yeah. So Yo. So you, t- you, t- how much you say six nine? You say if he offered you a hundred million, he offered me a billion. I'm a turning billion. that shit down. Well, what, what about Lil Nas X? If he offered you a hundred million, you would oh, do that I'm gonna shit? do it. Okay, he just, he just gay. He ain't telling nobody. <laughs> I ain't right. got nothing wrong. With, I ain't nothing. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't gay. I ain't got nothing against gay. No, you know what I'm saying? No gay people. So if you offer me some money to do a song, 
You ain't telling me to get out my character and do no gay shit. Yeah, I'm going to do the song for you. Right? But I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't finna push the agenda like, yeah, go be gay. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just do my verse and get the fuck out of there. Mm-hmm. But I ain't doing no song with no rap. No. You know what I'm saying? Especially no 6 9 no no <laughs> rap. <laughs> to that multitude. Like, yeah, that rap. nigga, that nigga done, bro. He, he, he done. He finished. But did you ain't see uh, that shit uh, we had posted not too long ago. Uh, Shotty, you know what I'm saying? He was reportedly down to his last 1,200. For real. That, like, that's what he said. He, he was down to his last 1,200. And, uh, he ain't got no money to put on his books. Nobody gave him nothing. Like, 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 what's your take on that shit? Thug that shit out. Thug it out? Thug that shit out. He got in the business with the wrong people doing it. Made the wrong move. Like, you got to... Reap what you sow, fool. Fuck that shit. You, you know what I'm saying? You in that bitch. <laughs> Take a nigga tray or something. <laughs> you thugging on them songs. Snatch some in that bitch. You know what I mean? Get like that. Yeah, but no, you know, Shotty, like, ain't he, he like a leader of the uh, Bloods or some shit in New York or some shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's the nigga he was, he was extorting 6 9 Exactly. You know what I'm saying? He was extorting the nigga. Like, they, back then, that nigga was getting like 100 a show. Storing them now, you down to your last twelve hundred, bro. That shit crazy though. What niggas be doing with the money? <laughs> Wasn't he tricking on his bitch? Yeah, he fucked yeah, his bitch too. He's tricking on hoes that niggas be doing. <laughs> he ran through all this. What he say? <laughs> niggas ran through all that free money. <laughs> Fuck wrong with him? <laughs> I don't know. Man, yeah, man, that shit crazy though. He, he, he gotta thug it out for. It. It out, I man. saw that though. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, but like, like, have you seen that? Like, when motherfuckers, they be at their highest, and then when they go to jail, you know what I'm saying? It's just like they, they at their well, lowest. You know what I'm saying? Take care of the wrong people. Yeah, a lot of people, think. a lot of niggas have money when they go to jail. Cause when you go to jail, you you be prepared. You know, you getting sentenced, and when you get sentenced, sometimes they let you stay out for a little long. You know what I'm saying? You leave that money with the wrong people, you gonna come home with your money. A lot of bitches break bad. Niggas rap about that. You know what I'm saying? You leave that money with that wrong bitch instead of, you know what I'm saying? Your mama or your cousin. But a lot of people, shit, they mama didn't did it to them. So it's just, man, you got to <laughs> gotta secure that bag before you go and put it in the right hands or make that right investment. But right. that's what niggas be, you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas go to jail and don't be really thinking of it all the way through. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? The BMF series is out right now, but... uh you know what I'm saying? He he Meech kind of said that it's all that shit that we talking about, that shit is part of the game. He said even another boss telling on a boss is a part of the game. Do you do you agree with that shit or no? I don't agree on no telling. But I mean shit, it like like you say, it's a lot of shit that come with it. It ain't just because you wouldn't do it don't mean the next person won't do it. Just because you solid don't mean they ain't gonna be you know what I'm saying, crumble. So you can't expect you out of other people. So the game fucked up. You just gotta expect the game to be you know what I'm saying? It's going to have a bad hand. It come with a lot of money or some money at least, but it ain't. Everybody ain't right that's in it. You might have the right intentions, but everybody ain't going to do what you expect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody ain't going to do what you going to do. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, yeah, and that shit, that's so hard. We just talked about police-ass niggas earlier. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, it's so hard to find like a solid group of niggas. You know what I'm saying? Because... Money do change people. Like, like, well, I ain't, I ain't gonna say it, you know, it don't change you. It reveal who the who the motherfucker really is. You know what I'm saying? So, like, <clears throat> how do you stay solid with your niggas? Like, how do you how do you nitpick? You like, okay, man, bro, valid, but you know what I'm saying? I'm a little bro from a distance. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you figure that shit out? We we got kids and shit like that. I ain't like that's the crazy thing. Like, nobody really close. Like. We close, but we distant because we got responsibilities. I ain't close to nobody that ain't got shit going on for themselves, or I ain't got no responsibilities. So I ain't got time to be around nobody every day to be up in their mix or see what they really got going on or know about their life for real. So, you know what I mean? Like, I just really stick to myself. Like, we got we come in and do business together or do what we do, like music, or we might go buy some vending machines or whatever the fuck we going to do. But... After that, we go home. <laughs> That's it. We shake hands and know. Like, even when I rap with a nigga, if he my cousin, whatever, I come do the song, shake his hand, I'm out of there. I did my part. Yeah. Ain't no part to part. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no reason to politic no more. We did the business. I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? Strange the money. Peace out. So. You know what I'm saying? That's how, you, that's how you gonna last in the game, too. You know what I'm saying? Keeping it strictly business with niggas. Yeah, yeah, but um, <clears throat> we was talking about Milwaukee. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know you said you got to tap in with the city. Uh, 
Like who you would want to do a song with that you ain't got to yet? Like just from Milwaukee. That I ain't got to yet. Yeah, that you ain't do a song with yet. Like I ain't did a song with a lot of people that I want to do a song yet, but I ain't gonna mention it because they they reach up. I'm gonna say Lakia. I ain't gonna lie. I wanna because she, uh, you know what I'm saying? She seemed like she hard to get to. So I'm like, shit, that'll be hard. Fuck it. I don't know why, bro. Like, I I don't even give a fuck no more, bro. Every time somebody bring up Lakia, I just got to smile, bro. <laughs> like, she make me smile, bro. I love you. you even though you blocked us. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I love you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's all cool. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get the interview, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to speak that shit into existence. Even though she left me on scene and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So Man, look. Yeah, she left me I on get, scene. Look, and... I get the song, right? We're mm. going to do the video. And a part of the video is going to be an interview with Mixtape Trappers. You know what I'm saying? We, we do it like that. You gonna do that for me, bro? Man, we gonna do it like that. We you gonna gotta, do that for me, bro? Man, we gotta put the city on, yeah, man. This shit ain't hard. personal. This shit business. If, if the city, come, like, think about it like that. Like, nigga, when somebody be popping in the city and they be going crazy, when they wave kind of die a little bit, it's somebody else from that city carrying the wave for the city. We got one person. When she die down a little bit, who gonna keep, you know what I'm saying? We gotta have this bitch pumping, so this bitch keep pumping, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I die down, who gonna keep going? When I when they die down, who gonna keep this bitch going? Like you know what I'm saying? So motherfuckers gotta have their fifteen minutes to have their guys keep coming behind them. You know what I'm saying? So this shit last an hour or two. You know what I'm saying? So bullshit. Uh, like uh, I know you seen it. You know what I'm saying? It happened a while ago, but uh, what you think about the comments? You know what I'm saying? That she said about Milwaukee. Which one about uh, the Instagram or the one on You can, you can, you can, the you can, you can do both. Gloves. Yeah, well, do the CNA one first and then go with the she, when she said, Ain't no none of these niggas in Milwaukee gonna be shit ever. Uh, the dirty glove one, it wasn't that bad. Okay, it wasn't that bad. I didn't really, it wasn't that bad. That part, what she said on Instagram, that made people feel a type of way, but she ain't me, everybody. She ain't me, me, and you. Nah, she couldn't have been you know what saying? Doing so, DJ Jerry and so, the mixtape yeah, Travers. You know what I mean? So. She or just, beyond, you know what I'm saying? She, she, talk she probably talking about a couple people she had a problem with back in the day. You know what I'm saying? This should be street sometimes with some people. So that shit ain't personal for everybody. I mean, that shit ain't probably towards everybody because everybody know the city going crazy. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people from every side of the city. You know what I'm saying? No matter what side of the city you from, I ain't gonna lie. It's a lot of niggas on each side of the city having their way, going nuts, doing. You know what I'm saying? Make the city look good. So. It ain't no way we can't blow up and be like that if we all do the rap shit. Or, you know what I'm saying? The nice majority of us do it. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. she couldn't have meant us. She just meant a couple of them type shit. Yeah, yeah. Because I know you was talking earlier. You said you got a 20-year-old sister, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you kind of knew yeah, where, yeah. where, where said, she was coming from. I'm like, from. shit, man. She the same age as my little sister. Like, that shit really don't mean shit. They, they talk like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, 20-year-olds talk like that. That shit, they don't mean no harm by that shit. Yeah, man, but hopefully, man, I ain't gonna say hopefully. I can't wait to the motherfucking Big Jew, Lakia slash interview. You know what I'm saying? When that shit happened, man, we we shutting the city down, man. I'm sliding on. I'm gonna slide on P. I'm gonna catch him. I'm gonna slide on him. Pull up, roll on him. Like, hey, I need the verse, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't take no for an answer. It's just that. Like, you get down there, lay down. Like, Look at that. You want the money or you gonna just do it for free? Cause it's happening. How you feel about it? So we you gonna nap her or you gonna just No take no this? we ain't gonna nap her, we gonna convince him. I'm gonna talk to okay. him so smoothly, like, look, we doing this for the city, you know what I'm saying? So I got I got a couple dollars. You know what I'm saying? What you want? If you want more than what I got, we're gonna have to work it out. What if we what if what if Pete tell you he need a hundred? I'm gonna tell him I want a little baby on the song too, cause that's a little high. <laughs> well, look. That's a plug, nigga. At least, and baby at least bankroll Freddy or something. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, you got the two, two, three up, Duke Deuce. You got the. I'm gonna need a whole freestyle from all the QC. You want a hundred, nigga, for her? She cold, but shit, I will give you a dub. Yeah, dub. That's 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 fair. So, that's fair. Dub. She worth a hundred though. Yeah. But I ain't, definitely. No. He definitely. She gonna be two fifty one day. Yeah. Three hundred for sure. Give her a year or two. She gonna be three hundred. Mm-hmm. For real, hey yeah, but man, when, when you dropping? Uh, when, when next time you dropping a project? Or you got something on the way, or you just dropping videos right I now? Got a, I got a tape coming like next week, and then I'm gonna drop another tape in like two, three weeks. Every week, yeah, I'm gonna drop this shit with five. five. I just dropped it. I don't know if I could drop it on the tape again, but 
I'm gonna drop some Milwaukee features on this tape next week and then next month I'm gonna do the Mile Town features. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do a little build up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna give it all to him too quick. Mm-hmm. For real, man. You already know what the fuck it is, man. DJ Jerry, aka the voice of the streets. It's that motherfucking mixtape Trappers Radio, man. Big Jew. What's happening?